Hi there and welcome to another video. I'm Natasha and I am use mixed media artwork um, as a way of praying and connecting with God. Um, and today I thought I would show you the last page that I'm going to do in my little Advent zine um, which I created at the start of Advent um, and there is a video for that. Um, it was really small, there was just six pages in there um, and I have filled those up um, and then I've also added some of the pages in between, I've stitched at the bottom and added these little tags in there as well just for some extra space. Um, and so today I'm doing my final piece in this advent zine which is another tip in um, which is going to go in this middle pocket here. So I've stitched the bottom and I've got a piece of card that just slots into there um, and I'm going to make that into like a little little tip in a little card that I can take out, um, a little journaling card. And I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. Um, I have been using the Advent Word as a way um, of praying for Advent. I decided for this I was going to use this um, book, Our Daily Bread. Um, I'm filming this on the 21st of December and the verse for today is from Psalm 42. Um, Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. Um, and the theme is about Jesus being the light of hope. And I really love this bit at the bottom that said, for many of us, the Christmas season stirs up both joy and sorrow. Thankfully, even these mixed emotions can be reconciled and redeemed through the, through the promises of the true light of hope, Jesus. And for me, that really just resonated um, as I sat down to start to think about this last um, bit I was going to do in my journal. Um, it's been quite a difficult past few months for lots and lots of reasons and entering into Christmas I really feel that mixture of joy and sorrow um, really deeply and so just spending some time with God, praying about it, um, giving to him those things that are causing sorrow but also the things that are bringing joy, um, acknowledging both. It's a really helpful thing to do. Um, so often we especially at Christmas, we think we just have to be happy and, um, you know, joyful all the time. And we should feel joy that, you know, this is the time we celebrate Jesus being born. Um, and if Jesus hadn't been born, um, you know, Easter wouldn't have happened and that, you know, redeeming love of God being shown. But actually, just because something is joyful um, doesn't negate the sadness. Um, and that might be personal sadness. It also might be sadness at what's going on in the world. Um, you know, it's quite hard to look at the things that are going on um, and to ignore it and just think, oh, well, it's Christmas, we'll be happy, you know, when there are people suffering and people dying. Um, and so actually holding both of those two things in tension, joy and sorrow, um, I think is really important and something that I'm really learning to hold through this season. Um, which was a big ramble, um, I guess, just to say, if you're in that same position too, um, you know, acknowledge them, hold, hold those, hold the two things together, um, you know, and remember, you know, this promise that is there at the end, and that's why I loved it, you know, that promise that Jesus is the light of hope, that light that came into the darkness, um, and yeah, just holding on to that whilst acknowledging the sorrow and acknowledging the joy, I think is just a really important thing to do. Um, so I have, you know, started on my little journaling card. I've added some collage um, and I'm sorry, it did go a little bit off screen. I don't quite know what I've done with my camera. Um, but yeah, I'd started by adding some collage um, and then over the top of that, I'd added some gesso and then using some acrylic inks just to add um, some color.
So once all that ink had dried um, and I've got this really nice, these dark colours, I then use this pearlescent acrylic ink um, and my sort of stamping tool tube that I love to use to add some circles on there. Um, and it created a really nice effect because this ink isn't very, um, it's quite subtle. Um, and so you just get those shimmery, shimmery um, circles on there, which I really liked. And then I pulled out this image of a candle. Um, I hadn't really intended to use a candle, but I found this image and I really liked it. Um, and I liked the contrast with those dark purples and blues and um, Payne's grey. And then the candle, which are much softer, subtler colours. Um, so I grabbed the candle image and I've just added a little bit of collage behind it. And this paper that's got some gold on, I think, from when I've blotted um, a previous um, project um, to get the ink up. And so I'm just adding that behind the back of the candle. Just grabbed my white pe gel pen um, and did some journaling over the top just reflecting on the idea of Jesus being the light in the darkness which is something that I had done right at the start of my journaling in this um, at Advent but it felt quite nice to finish with that as well and I'll probably do some journaling on the back of the card at some point as well um, off camera just reflecting on the things that are for me um, you know the sorrow and joy of this season and then just the final thing I decided to do um, was to add like a little tab onto the card um, to make it a little bit easier to get in and out of the pocket. So I just used washi tape for that um, that kind of matched the colours that I was using um, and it just makes it that little bit easier to sort of put in and out. And there we have it, um, the finished journaling card, um, sort of tip in to add to my um, journal um i hope you've enjoyed the video i hope you have a really blessed christmas and i will see you again in 2024 until then goodbye